Deuteronomy 23:11 Ki yehevcha ish asher lo yehye tahor mikare laila ve yatsa el mihutz la machane lo yavo el toch hamachane so this verse uh, is uh, a little tricky. Uh, just remind you here that verse 11 in the Hebrew is what we're working from. So this is verse 10 in the English, if you wanted to go look at this a little bit more. But what we get here at the beginning is a key. So this key is going to be an if. So if there exists among you a man, or we might see man formally as the subject here, since we have a third masculine singular verb. If a man exists among you, that would be another way to think about it. Verb here, call imperfect third masculine singular of haya. Then we get who, further referring to the man here, who, he does not exist as clean, or we might say he is not clean. Now, I don't see haya formally as the to be verb, but it's really functioning that way here, who is not clean clean. Now, it's interesting that it says is not clean instead of is unclean. The idea here is that he is ceremonially unclean or ceremonially impure. Next, we get the men preposition with the word kare. Now, this is in construct, so it looks a little bit different than the lexical form. And then we get the word night. Now, kare is more technically just a, a happening a happening or an occurrence. And so we would get something like this men functioning as the causal. So the man who is unclean because of or from a happening of the night. But if you go to Halot, you see here that this is likely a reference euphemistically to a nocturnal emission. And so this would be unclean. This is why I put these verses up here from Leviticus. If you wanted to go follow up on that a little bit and see that indeed this does make a person ceremonially unclean. If that man is among you, then he shall go out. There's a vekatal form. So we've got yatsa is the verbal root, call perfect third masculine singular. He shall go out to from the outside, men preposition, a little interesting there, but just to the outside of the camp. Then we say, he shall not enter to the midst of the camp. Verb here, call imperfect, third masculine singular of the verbal root bo. This man who is ceremonially unclean uh, is not able to enter into the midst of the camp.